Okay, this is the Bernstein Bears and the Mama's Day Surprise. Some mama bears are all seeing and wise. When Mother's Day comes, they're hard to surprise. Mother's Day was coming, and Mama Bear knew that Papa and the Cubs were going to surprise her with a special celebration. Last year, they took her out for a special Mother's Day dinner. Mama was pretty sure that this year they were going to surprise her with a special Mother's Day breakfast in bed. And alas, she, she also knew she would probably have to spend the rest of Mother's Day cleaning up the mess they made preparing her special breakfast in bed. But that was okay. It's the thought that counts. The signs of Papa and the Cubs Mother's Day plan weren't hard to read. There was marker in the cookbooks at the page for Mama's favorite breakfast, honeyed French toast with blueberries, and one day they were shopping at the Beartown Mart. She saw the cubs slip off into the direction of the card department. As Mother's Day drew closer, Mama knew that she had a lot to do if her family's Mother's Day surprise was going to be a success. First, she had to find an old bed tray they used when the family member was ill. She found it at the top of one of the kitchen cabinets where she keeps the jars and bottles that were too nice to throw away. It had some sort of oatmeal on it from when Papa had been in bed with a cold. She scraped off the oatmeal and put the bed tray where she knew Papa and the cubs would find it. But there was more to do. She had to make sure they would have the ingredients to make our special Mother's Day surprise. She checked the recipe in the cookbook. Honeyed French toast with blueberries called for honey, bread, eggs, sweet cream, sweet butter, powdered sugar, and blueberries. It was Papa and the Cubs' favorite breakfast too, but that was okay. It's a thought that counts. As for the mess they would make in the kitchen, well, that just came with being a mama. These pages are hard to turn. Mom's checked the cupboard. Mama checked the cupboard. There was honey, of course, plenty of bread. There was powdered sugar, too, but it was all caked up like a rock. They were out of eggs, but they that wouldn't be a problem. She could get farm fresh eggs from Farmer Ben's farm. Nor would sweet cream butter be a problem and powdered sugar um, be a problem. She would get those from the supermarket, but fresh blueberries, it was much too early in the season for blueberries. The cubs were with Mama on her next trip to the supermarket. She didn't want to spoil their surprise, so she gave them a little shopping list to take care of while she put sweet cream and sweet butter and powdered sugar into her cart. She also brought some extra cleaner and scouring pads for the big Mother's Day cleanup. She looked high and low for the blueberries, but there were none to be found. It turned out that Gran had frozen some from last season. That took care of the blueberries. Mama was also pretty sure that the new bathrobe she was going to be part of her Mother's Day surprise. She caught the cubs checking the size of her old threadbare one. She pretended not to notice. As the big day drew closer, Mama made sure to stay out of the way when she thought they might be wrapping presents. Finally, it was the night before the morning of the big surprise. Papa and the cubs were doing their best not to let anything the least bit special was happening, but their secret smiles gave it away. Now here's the plan, said Papa. While Mama was off putting baby honey bear to bed, I'm setting my wrist watch alarm for five o'clock in the morning. I'll set the alarm low so it won't wake mama. Then I'll slip out of bed and come wake you two. And we'll sneak downstairs to the kitchen. Now it's going to be very dark. We'll have to be careful not to bump into things or we'll make mama. Mama pretended to be asleep while Papa alarm went off. She lay perfectly still 
as Papa stepped out of bed. There was a certain amount of bumping and thumping. Papa and the cubs stumbled around the dark. Papa even slipped and almost fell down the stairs, but the cubs caught him. <laughs> silly. Oh, silly Papa Bear. It's kind of clumsy, that one. Mama lay awake, getting ready to be surprised, but it wasn't so easy. From the sounds of things, it didn't seem to be going so well down in the kitchen. The sound of the egg beater wasn't was going to be expected. But then there was a big clunk. What happened? Oh dear. It wouldn't be the first time Papa dropped a bowl while beating eggs. And what was that burnt smell? They must have burnt the toast. Mama could just picture the mess they were making in the kitchen. It was all she could do to stay in bed. But after a few more clunks and the muffled shouts, she slipped out of bed, put on her old bathrobe, and stole downstairs to take a, a look at the kitchen. It was the, oh no, it was the worst kitchen mess she'd ever seen. The bowl had broken. So there was broken cro crockery and egg all over the floor. There was burnt toast on the drain board and sticky honey handprints on the walls. Oh dear, thought Mama. It's going to take me a week to clean up this mess. Thank goodness Mother's Day comes once a year. Just once a year. But out of the wreckage of the broken crockery, spilled eggs, burnt toast, and sticky honey, Papa and the cubs had managed to put together a most beautiful breakfast tray of Mama's favorites. Honeyed French toast with blueberries, sacrifice tea, and a small vase of red roses. Mama sighed. It was so beautiful that it was almost worth the terrible mess they had made. But now they were coming out of the kitchen, heading for the stairs. Mama had to get out of there or the whole surprise would be ruined. She scurried up the stairs and climbed back into bed. She pretended to be just waking up when they came into her room with a breakfast tray. Happy Mother's Day, said brother and sister. Happy Mother's Day, my dear, said Papa, as he placed the tray on the bed and plumped the pillow behind Mama's back. Mother's Day, said Mama. Well, I suppose it is. How lovely. All my favorites, honeyed French toast with blueberries and sapphires tea and beautiful roses. And look! Just what I needed. She unwrapped a new bathrobe. This is absolutely delicious, said Mama, as she ate her French toast and sipped her saffron tea. I don't know how to thank you. But then they heard the baby honey bear's cry of Mama, Mama. I'd better get honey bear up and give her breakfast, said Mama. No, said Papa. This is Mother's Day. You just stay in bed and read your cards. The cubs and I will take care of everything, and they did. When Mama got downstairs to work on the kitchen, she got a real surprise. It was the cleanest, shiniest, sparkly, spick and span kitchen she'd ever seen. <gasps> what? Oh my word. Well, said sister, how do you like your Mama's Day surprise? Yes, said brother, how do you like it? Honey Bear gurgled and Papa beamed. How do I like it, she said. It was the most wonderful, special surprise Mama had ever had. Then she gave her cubs a great big Mama Bear hug.